Hi guys, I'm back today with another little fun fold. Um, I think this is called the Diamond Flat Fun Fold. I modified this a little bit, but I it's a very easy fun fold to make. It's um, a little bit unique, but it's very easy for the recipient to figure out how to, you know, to manipulate this card. And it does sit up very nicely on the desk so they can look at look at it and admire your um, crafty work. Um, on the outside it says she believes she could, but her cat was asleep on her lap, so she didn't. And I have many, many cat lovers in my family, so I know exactly who I'm gonna send this to. But let me show you how to do this. This looks a little complicated, but it's actually very simple. So the first thing we wanna do is get out our scoreboard. And I cut a piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter by 11 inches, so it's just a half sheet the long way. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna score at two and an eighth. So that's our first measurement. And I'm just lightly going over that a few times because I want that to be nice and crisp. And then I'm gonna come down to five and a half, which is your normal like if you wanted your card to, you know, fold in half. So this will fold back this way. And then the other piece will fold back like this. So essentially what we got going on here is like a, a, a standard Z fold, but we're going to modify that. And one of the things I'm going to do here actually is I'm just going to set this here. I'm not going to um, make a full line. I'm just going to put a little mark here at the two and one eighth on this side. So just enough that I can see there is a little dent in that spot. The next thing we're going to do is I'm gonna put that dent on my cutting plate or my cutting line here and line that up with the, the end of this last score mark. And I'm gonna trim that and I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to do that again. I'm going to put the edge of this score mark here and line it up with the point here. And there you go. If you wanted to skip that step, you totally could. But this gives us our modified diamond. This is half of a diamond. And what we're going to do is we will adhere some white paper and decorative paper here to make that stand out and really emphasize that. So that is our the how, that's it. That's the card base. So simple. So let's get decorating this. In here I have um, a piece of paper. This piece of paper is two and three quarters by two and three quarters square. Let me set this here. These are all the measurements for this card. I will put these up on the web page, but um, if you want to take a screenshot of that, so you have that information there too. Now I got stuck to my sticky mat. Ah, okay. And let's put our little kitty stamp down. Our cat stamp is from Technique Junkies. And I want to put this up high enough. I kind of want it to look like he's laying right here on this horizontal plane, I guess. And I am stamping this in Memento because I plan on using my um, Copics to color this kitty up. And I need an alcohol that will play, or I need an ink that will play well with my Copics. And if you know me, I've already done stamp surgery. I cut my sentiment apart because I wanted half of it to be on the inside and half of it to be on the outside. So let's see. Um, I usually, I like to use um, Versa Fine for sentiments generally, but because I'm going to do some Copic coloring here, I wanted to be sure everything was Copic safe. And so I'm stamping it several times to get it nice and black. And I think that looks awesome. So let me pull these off. And while this is right here, I'm gonna take my black pen and I couldn't do this on my other one. And I really wanted to. I wanted some indication that the message continued on the inside. So now I've got my dot, dot, dot. And now let's stamp the inside piece while we're doing that. And this way it'll be all ready have to use a diamond. I like the symmetry of it, of one diamond on the outside and one on the inside, but you could just put a white card panel in your card as well. That would be cute and functional. It depends on how much you want to write. Okay, to color this up, I'm going to only need one series of markers here. I'm going to use my YR20 
two one, two three, two four, and I brought down my two seven in case I needed it, but I don't think we're going to today. Cool. All right, and I have my green gel pen, and you can only see his little eye, but I love how green and orange look together, so I'm just going to put a dot of green on his um, eyeball there, just to give him some sparkle, a little bit of something something there, and I, um, I'm i going to go back and add, I can look I'll show you on the original, I added some gray here for some grounding. I didn't bring those downstairs to, to do that, but I will I will add those on here but let's go ahead and glue our card together we can do that and I can show you how to assemble this um, it's so this is such an easy fold and it's versatile you could use it for so many different things I'm using um, pattern paper this is from Stampin Up it is now retired it was part of some promotion that they had and I had a pack of it and I really like these flowers they're so like springy and fun now this one, these are both three and one eighth by four, and these are cut the same size. So the inside one and the outside one are the same. These are both three and one eighth by four. So one goes on the outside and the other one is meant to go in here. But one of the things I was thinking is that if you're one of those people who like to write a, a big message in your card and you're thinking, wow, this just isn't enough room, to replace this panel with just a white piece of cardstock um, and I don't have a white piece cut to that size but a white piece of cardstock and then you could write your message here you could put a gift card here there's lots of things that you can do with that section I don't need to be super chatty um, I like to just send real quick notes to family and friends generally just say hey thinking about you and so this card I, I don't need to build chatty box so I'm going to put my decorative paper in and I like how that's like a continuation over and then we can place our cat on our card now keep in mind this is what it's going to look like when the card is closed so we don't want to put glue onto this side of the cat and it's actually a lot easier I think to put glue here because you can put it right up to the edge of this to the fold. How cool is that? And then this one, I like to line up with this here, with the diamond on the back. You can put our glue here, and then when we close our card, it's going to fall in the exact right spot, right behind that diamond, so we don't have to think real hard about where to place it. So it's completely hidden in here. So this is our diamond fold. How easy is that? Isn't that just a cool little way to cut our card bases to add a little bit more interest to our cards? Um, I, I really love how that turned out, and it mails for a regular stamp. It's not bulky at all. So easy, so bright, so fun, and it you know a little bit of humor in this card. I hope you guys like that. Um, I'm going to definitely file this card um, style away as one of my favorites, and I hope you'll give it a try. Here are the measurements one more time, guys, and I'll see you on the next card video. Mm -hmm.